Keep judging yourself, brothers and sisters, because no one else is going to do it when you're home alone and nobody sees you. No, no Christian brothers and sisters are around. You've got no fellowship, no connection to the righteous kingdom, no connection at all to Christ other than you yourself isolated in the world. You have to judge yourself. And the influences are so strong. Just to, to laugh at some ridiculous joke, you know. Uh, we can do it, though. We can do it. We can overcome. And we can get stronger. And hopefully we'll get stronger today to those who took communion today, who, who could take communion today. Hopefully we'll just continue to keep getting stronger. And I'm looking forward to God strengthening us. And hopefully this 2023 will be a good year of steady growth. Just steady growing. Keep growing in the Lord. No more falling back. Let's finally learn why we get lukewarm, where it all starts. I really like to take the month of January and just focus on that process of falling backwards, just to tidy up our understanding on that. Because some of us are starting to come around here. Philip, you got to grab it. Are you out there? Philip wants his passion back. I mean, if some of you go through that where you just get lukewarm and you feel just dead just tired, no energy. Of, I'm not talking about with God. There's nothing. There's no life there. It's just, uh, but we can get reignited in God. And um, I, I don't really don't know what it takes for each individual. All I know is that if you're his, if you, keep, if you have the grace to keep believing and you don't give up on that, you got to have something in your mind of hope. You got to have some hope. Some people lose their hope, and I, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, you have to keep hoping that God is going to pull you out of that muddy, nasty thing you just slipped in, and you just keep hoping, hoping and hoping. And we did that uh, do for me what I cannot do for myself study, you know, make me obey you, Lord. And all those scriptures that David was talking about in Psalms 119, you go back and read that. That's our prayer. That's our heart. My heart is make me obey. And you just wait. And like Job says, I'm waiting for my change to come. And you just keep hoping and waiting. And the thing is, 